Welcome back, everybody. Hope everybody's having an awesome day. I am doing a reaction marathon today. Uh, raining, nasty outside. Yeah, might as well stay in and just record videos all day. So, no, I don't wear the same thing every day. Just so y'all know, I am recording crap tons of videos, so that way I don't have to, you know, I'll be traveling for the holidays. I don't want to have to, uh, you know, leave, uh, not have any videos out there for y'all. So I'm going to record a bunch of videos. No, I do not wear the same thing every day. Uh, I hope that everybody is having an amazing day, though. Uh, today, I am going to be listening to one of my favorite bands of all friggin' time. The song is called Yesterday Don't Mean You Know What. Uh, that's what I can't say on here because this is YouTube. Uh, but, I have never heard this song in concert. So I was looking around online. I wanted to react to something from Pantera, and I found this song, which I love this song on the album. The album is freaking awesome, so I've never heard it live. So I'm curious to hear how they sound with this song live in person. Uh, before we do, y'all, y'all know the drill. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, please make sure you give this song a thumbs up. If you want to give it a thumbs down, please go away someplace else. I don't care. Uh, also, please make sure you leave comments. I love my music. You know, I'm, I'm a metal fan. I love other genres. I love all the genres. There's not much out there I don't listen to. Uh, but if y'all have other suggestions for me, let me know. We'll get right to it. All right, here we go. Yesterday don't mean jack. I can't hear. Yeah. 2001. Hold up, hold up, hold up. So 2001, this is when Phil was pretty, pretty heavily into the drugs. So... Let's see how he hand handles himself in this one. He seems like he's got it together in this one. Uh, I've watched some of their performances where you listen to it and you're like, yeah. He, he must have had a fix before uh, he came on stage. <laughs> this one he actually seems like he's pretty lucid. So don't fucking even look at me. Look, y'all mind your own business, man. We're just playing the fucking music. Y'all do what the fuck y'all gotta do. This is one called Yesterday Don't Be Fucking Shit. Excellent song, y'all. Excellent song. Down there. I remember when I used to go see them in a concert back 
many years ago, back in the early, you know, late 90s, well, mid 90s, early 2000s. Uh, their stuff, their shows were so freaking insane. They almost borderline violent when you were there. I mean, it was insane how crazy those people went while you were there. I loved it. I loved it. It, it, it was just like, you, you go out of those shows and it, it, it's like, it's like if y'all ever been to a uh, UFC fight, people leave the UFC fight, the people in the stands leave the UFC fight, they act like they're UFC fighters. <laughs> Serious. You, they act like nobody can touch them. Well, even a Pantera show is the exact same way. You, you go out of that show, you think people can't touch you. You're just, it's, it's so much energy. Rest in peace, Dime. Rest in peace, Dime. Rest in peace, Vinny, too. Rest in peace, Vinny. While we're looking at dying right there, let's just let's just have this conversation, you know. Let's let's start a little controversy. Who's what do y'all think about Zach Wild on guitars? If you ask me, Zach Wild on guitars is the person who they should have had on guitars. I love Dime back there, don't get wrong. He is he is Pantera. But if they needed to pick somebody else to replace him, Zach Wild is the man. He is the man. He could been could have been Pantera as well. I mean, now he is Pantera, and I enjoy Zach Wilde on guitar. Uh, I, I'm I'm not sold yet on what's his name, uh, the drummer they have now, Charlie. Is his name Charlie from Anthrax. I, I like him, good drummer. I'm not 100 percent on him yet. I'm not sold. Yet. If it, if you could have put somebody else on drums, I'll probably put I forget his name, but the drummer from uh, Lamb of God. That's who I'd put his, on drums for them now. Uh, but yeah, I, I, don't, like I, said, I like Dime. I love Dime. He was a hell of a good guitarist. He could write the baddest freaking riffs in the world, but I don't know. Like I said, I, I like Zach Wilde on guitar now. On it there. Uh, to me, he feels like he is Pantera. I, I'm not taking anything away from Dime. Don't get me wrong, y'all. I know y'all are going to probably hang me off the draft for that. Uh, but, like I said, they picked the perfect person to replace uh, well, I don't say replace because you he can't replace Dime Bagdaro. Perfect person to step in for Dime Bagdaro after he was gunned down by that lunatic and maniac at that concert. Oh, All right, y'all, let's get back to the song. Sorry, that's when I'm a little rant. <laughs> You get it, baby. You get it. Woo, I get far as they're smoking this time. Thank <laughs> you. 
neck must have started to really bother him here. Because you see, he's not really throwing his body around as much. But this is what? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Yeah, that was good. Oh, like I was saying, this must have been really starting it close to the end of it, uh, February of 2001. Uh, yeah, I think, that they, I think they broke up later this year. Um, yeah, they're... Yeah, uh, this must have been the time when he really started to have a lot of neck and back problems from slamming his body around on stage a lot because he... Uh, was very uh, non-mobile and you can see he tried to do it a little bit but he stopped so I bet this is about the time when it really started to bother him a lot and I think he cleaned up in what y'all what did he cleaned up like in 2004 or something like that 2005 right around the time Diamond got killed I believe he ended up cleaning, getting cleaned up uh, amazing performance I cannot wait to see them in person uh, taking my wife to see them she's never seen Pantera she don't know nothing about Pantera She's just this little Haitian girl. She's about uh, five foot two, and <laughs> she don't know nothing about Pantera, so it's going to be fun to see her. Re I'm going to actually record her reaction for this. I can let you know I'll make her on the channel uh, and have her listen to the music with me one time, see what she thinks about it. That might be that might get interesting. So, all right, I'm not going to hold y'all up. I've ranted enough about how much I love Pantera. So, I hope y'all have a great day. I'll see you next time.